Yeah, hey everyone. So I, you know what? I got bad news and good news. There was a press conference the other day that Anthony Fowler and Liam Smith. I did not know about it. Like it was all over social media, but I didn't actually know about the press conference. Apparently, it was a public press conference. I could have gone. So I missed it, which is a shame. Eddie Holm was there. I could have gone and spoken to him. I could have interviewed the fighters there. I emailed Matchroom. There's someone at Matchroom that I know. And I said to him, I I, I missed the press conference. I didn't know. Can I come to your next, next press conference so I can interview people? Uh, I mean, you you know my YouTube channel, but here's some of my... Here's the link again, just so you can take a look if you want. And yeah, it's looking good, so I should be going to a matchroom press conference quite soon. I work, but you know, I'm, I'm not. I mean, I like my job. It is a, okay, it's it's better than definitely better than construction. I've been delivering food to schools, so not schools, not yet. Sorry, restaurants. I think schools. They've they've told us we're going to start delivering food to schools as well in September, I believe. But I mean, I, yeah, I like the job. But obviously, if, if if there's a press conference, I'm, I'm just going to have to take the day off. I mean, yeah, don't really want to miss a matching press conference. I really want to talk to Eddie Hearn. I spoke to him. The last time I met Eddie Hearn was over two years ago or, or just, just under two years ago. But it's been absolute years since I interviewed him. Probably that when's the last time I interviewed him. 2011? Yeah, something. No, yeah, something like that. Two thousand eleven. Yeah, two thousand eleven. That's probably the last time I interviewed him. Um, you know, unfortunately, like when I di got disillusioned with boxing, I thought I've had enough of boxing. I deleted all the videos I had, which is a shame. But I'm trying to make a comeback. But to be honest, I want to talk about Eddie Hearn a little bit because to be honest, I, you know, I'll, I'll give you sort of account an objective view of him. Uh, I used to sort of do these interviews on Porky's Corner but to be honest I'm I'm bored of it now because I mean the guy's just a bit nuts like it's hard Russell like Porky's Corner I mean the guy's just a hard person to talk to because you know he's he's rude he interrupts you all the time um and I mean he just he seems to fall out with everybody like you know like Dennis Hobson and all these people it's like he just seems to get on people's nerves. So, yeah, I, I've done a few interviews with him. I've gone on his channel and let I've let him interview me. But to be honest, I'm, you know what, I'm bored now. Like, he doesn't give you a chance to talk. He's always jumping in and like, cutting you, cutting in, and he rants. And, um, I mean, we do sort of know each other. Like, I remember last year I went to Sheffield and we met up. I visited the Ingle gym and to me, you know, Russell actually let me stay, stay the night at his house, like he offered. So, I mean, I don't mind him on thick skin, but, you know, if someone says they want to interview me and and they won't let me talk and they won't let me ex express my views, then, but all the best to him, let him just do his thing. But to be honest, I'm, I'm just, I don't think I'm going to go back on his channel again. I'm just going to do my own thing. You know, and once I go to press conferences, and as I've told him before, like, you know, if he wants, just try and go to press conferences, try and interview people face to face. And, but anyway, what he does is up to him. Uh, the reason I say this, he does go in on Eddie Hearn a lot. Like, he does go in a little bit too, like, he goes in hard on Eddie Hearn. And I don't understand why. I mean, because it's like, you know, you're sitting there talking about people that like, they're not really going to listen to you. They're doing their own thing. And, you know, like, you're not really making relevant points. Um, I think Eddie Hearn's good for boxing. He's good and bad. I'll give you an objective point, and I'm just going to say what I believe. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to try and lie just to get Eddie Hearn to like me. And I'll just tell the truth. I think Eddie Hearn's good and bad for boxing. Um, don't get me wrong, he's mostly good. I won't say he's... I'm not saying he's bad for boxing, even though I did just say that. I, I, I'm not saying he's bad for boxing. I think he gets carried away sometimes with the things that he says. When he says stuff like game changed or when he says things like certain fights are bigger than they actually are. Well, like, you know, when you're saying, you know, when you're trying to get Conor Ben to fight Amir Khan, I don't see that fight's never going to happen. There's no chance. I don't, that fight's not going to happen. And there's not really a lot of public demand for it anyway. I'm, me personally, I'm sure most people, we don't really care if 
Amir Khan retires or not. I mean, he hasn't even boxed in, what, over two years? You know, and you've got Kilbrook. He hasn't boxed since he got knocked out by Terence Crawford. So, I, you know, I just, I don't really care about Khan or Brook, if I'm honest. So, you know, trying to say, you know, we want to see, trying to say Conor Ben versus Khan. But there's not really a lot of demand for that fight. And I don't, Khan's not going to take it. I mean, he's not scared of Brook, but fighters, most fighters, they only fight once or twice a year and they like to go for big names. Like when you get to Khan's level, they only like to go for big names, people that they think will make them the most money. So I don't see Khan, well, why, you know, why would he care about Conor Ben? And why should he? You know, I think Conor Ben should fight people himself. Fight Mark Florian Marku, fight Josh Kelly, fight David Avenissian. I mean, there's guys, there's plenty of guys out there. Fight Chris Congo. There's other guys, but, you know, because I, I haven't been to any boxing fights in a long time. And I don't always have time. Sometimes I'm working night shift. So I miss some of these fights. And I don't know who everyone is, but... Those are some of the main guys. I think Chris Congo lost his last fight, but I think Chris Congo's still a good fight. But yeah, you know what? I've got to give credit to Eddie Hearn. I think he uh, he knows how to promote fighters. And in particular, I'm probably going to do a separate video on this. The main reason I wanted to do this video right, is basically, you know, is uh, there was a fight recently announced. Liam Smith versus Anthony Fowler. Now, I think that's a really good fight. I, now, this is what I'm talking about. Because a few times when I've been on Porky's Corner, it's like, he doesn't really give you a chance to talk. Like, he rants a lot, you know. And he hasn't got the best people skills. Like, I'm, I'm thick-skinned, so I just get on with things. But, yeah, when you're trying to talk and someone won't let you. So, I'm not really interested in talking to him again. But... Uh, I'm trying to remember something he said. Oh, yeah, but the thing is, boxing isn't that bad. I mean, all I'd say about Eddie Hearn, as I'll say to his face, just I want to see more f more matchups which are sort of challenging competitive fights. And I think this is a really good fight. Liam Smith versus Anthony Fowler. I really want to see this fight. I'm looking forward to it. I hope nobody gets injured. You know, you had Errol Spence the other day, he got, apparently had a detached, so not, he had an injury to his retina, to his eye. I mean, I don't know, is he telling the truth or is it genuinely injured? Obviously, if it's injured, then trust me, you don't want to step in the ring with an injury like that. Or maybe they're just trying to buy more time. So I wish Errol Spence all the best. But, yeah, you know, this is what I'm saying. This is a really good fight, which I want to watch. In terms of who I think will win, I'd say most likely Liam Smith will win. He's fought the better competition. Uh, yeah, he's more experienced. I'll do more videos and I'm going to try and get interviews with these guys because I'm sure there's going to be another press conference. But it's a really good fight. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, as I said, I think Liam Smith will... I wouldn't be surprised if he stops Fowler because I think Fowler's got a lot of bad technique. You know, I've, you know, you see him hitting people when they're on the when they're already down, and he doesn't have the fastest hands. You know, um, and he's some of his fights are mismatches, so it's like you're not being tested, you're not being hit back. So when Liam Smith hits him back, I mean Liam Smith's been in there with Canelo, and the thing, even if you lose, like for me, I lost the fight recently, but that loss was good for me. I mean, the loss was better than the win because I, I beat somebody, but the win was, it was just too easy. But the loss was good. It was challenging. It made me a better fighter. So this is what I'm saying about Liam Smith. I think the loss to Canelo, you know, it's not nice to lose. Obviously, unless you've got a mature mindset. When I lost, I I reacted very badly. <laughs> I was literally, I was, I had to f fight. Like I was trying to, I had to fight to stop the tears coming down. Yeah, you know, I was, I was guided I was guided but you know uh, losing is not easy unless you've got a strong mindset and I mean for me I, I do have a strong mindset I just didn't really behave very well on the night but it's okay you know I'm gonna have more fights um but I think it's a really good fight I think Liam Smith's boxed at a higher level and even though he lost to Canelo but I mean these fight even if you lose to someone if you fight someone that's a high level it can, I mean, it can either, you know, damage you, shorten your career, or it can, it can, it can, 
it can make you a better fighter, or make you a hungrier fighter, or make you a tougher fighter. So I'm I'm gonna go for Liam Smith. I'm quite confident Liam Smith will win the fight. But um I'll probably do more videos nearer the time and I'm I'm really gonna try and get a chance to interview these guys. That's the plan. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.